to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.6 and problem number 2.94. Determine the magnitude of a horizontal force P applied at the center C of a roller of weight Q is equal to 4450 newtons and radius small r is equal to 380 mm, which will be necessary to pull it over a 76 mm cup. Also find what is the magnitude and direction of the least force applied at C that will lift the roller over the curve as shown in the figure N. That means there is a roller. It is rested against the curve. I would like to make the roller to roll about this curve by applying a force P. So how much horizontal force is required to make the roller to roll over the curve? That is the problem. Now, this is the radius. Hence, the radius is given as 380 mm. Height of the curve is given as 76 mm. Now, this is the radius. This is also equals to 380 mm. Now, I can find this distance now. From this right angle triangle, I can find this distance. So, to clearly understand, I will put some names here, D and E. Now, I can find the value of D. How I can find the value of D? DE is equal to the total distance is 380 minus this 76, which gives 304 mm. And so CE is equal to 304 mm. Now, once I know the value of CE is equal to 304 mm, now I can find the value of DE by using the Pythagoras rule that is square root of 380 square minus 304 square, which gives the value of 228 mm. DE value is 228 mm. Now, straight away I can take the moments about there are only two forces. Of course, here uh, two reaction forces will develop, horizontal and vertical, because we are not permitting the roller to slide at this point hence two reactions will develop but no reaction will develop here what is the reason the reason is the roller is rolling rolling against the curve so it is lifted off from the ground hence there is no contact between the roller and the ground when it is lifted off hence no reaction will develop here so only four forces if you take the moments about d these two forces are passing through the point T. These two will not introduce any moment. So moment will be produced by these two forces. P will introduce a moment in this direction. Q will introduce a moment in this direction. These two are opposite. And also I know this distance is 304 and this distance is DE that is 220 mm. So I know all the directions and the distances. I can apply the moment equation very comfortably. Sigma MD take moments about D equals to 0. And P into 304 is equal to Q into 228. And Q value, weight of the roller is given as 4450 upon substituting. I will get P is equal to 3337.5 newtons. This is the answer. If the, if the force is horizontal, now I required 3.33 kilonewtons force to make the roller to roll over the curve. But our also interest to find what is the minimum force. How much minimum force is required to make the roller to roll over the curve. Now let us assume that P minimum force is acts at an angle of alpha from the horizontal. Our interest is to find the value of alpha, where it is minimum and how much it is. Both we will try to find now. By applying the same principle, that P minimum I can resolve into two components now, P minimum cos alpha and P minimum sin alpha, horizontal and vertical component. Here also I can find two reactions because we are not allowing the roller to slide either in horizontal direction or vertical direction at point D, two reactions will develop and there is no reaction here. The reason obvious as the roller is rolling over the curb means there is no contact between these two. Hence, there is no reaction. Now, I can take the moments about D. Now, there are how many forces will produce the moments? 1, 2, 3. P minimum cos alpha, P minimum sin alpha and Q. Three forces will introduce the moment. P minimum cos alpha will introduce a moment in this direction. P minimum sin alpha will introduce a moment in this direction. 
q will introduce a moment in this direction hence i can say p minimum cos alpha into the distance is 304 p minimum sin alpha into the line of action of the p minimum sin alpha this one and the distance is d we already calculated as 228 mm and p minimum sin alpha into 228 is equal to q into the same distance 220 now this i can simplify p minimum I can take outside p minimum if I take outside then I will get 304 cos alpha plus 228 sin alpha is equal to 4450 into 228. So from that I can find p minimum is equal to 101400 divided by 304 cos alpha plus 228 sin alpha. Now our interest is to see that this is as minimum as possible. It should be minimum. It should be minimum means denominator should be maximum because numerator is constant. We, will not, we cannot change the numerator. Only the possibility that we can, depending upon the value of alpha, the new denominator will change. Denominator should be as maximum as possible. So that uh, this will become minimum. So what is the maximum value of this? To find the maximum value, P is minimum, this should be maximum. So for the maximum of this, differentiate that with respect to alpha. D by D alpha of 304 cos alpha plus 228 sin alpha is equal to 0. Then cos alpha after simplification you will get differentiation minus 304 sin alpha plus 228 cos alpha is equal to 0. Upon simplification you will get tan alpha is equal to 0 0.75 or alpha is equal to 36.87 degrees. So if you apply a force at an angle of 36.87 degrees you will get the force is minimum. And how much is that minimum force? You just substitute in the equation 104400 by this denominator. I got alpha value is equal to 36.87. You substitute here. Then upon substituting, you will get the value 2670 Newton. This is the answer.